welcome back to the channel everyone and in this video we're taking a look at one of my favorite smgs in vanguard the ppsh i have a brand new class setup that has no recoil and absolutely melts at close range dropped a couple v2 rockets i think you guys will do the same with this build so without being said the like on this video is going to be 400 likes and if you guys are enjoying the content on the channel make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications let's go ahead and build this class setup all right, let's go ahead and create the absolute best and the fastest killing PPSH class setup. So for the muzzle, we are gonna rock this weapon loud and proud and we are gonna use the recoil booster to bump up that fire rate, giving us a faster time to kill. Definitely a great attachment on the PPSH. If you guys are running gun aggressive style players, you're gonna be able to get inside the enemy spawn and mow everyone down without a problem with this attachment. Now for the underbarrel to go ahead and help out that run and gun characteristic with this specific class setup, we are going to run the SMLE pistol grip so we have additional sprint to fire speed as well as hip fire accuracy, making this weapon a nightmare for players at close range. Definitely go ahead and put this on your class setup immediately. Now for the barrel, we are going to run the ZAC 300 millimeter barrel so we have bullet velocity and range accuracy as well as recoil control definitely a great attachment to run on the ppsh to keep the recoil down and allow this weapon to use at any and all ranges and outgun assault rifle players if you need to get into a gunfight at longer range definitely a great attachment for this submachine gun now for the magazine we're gonna run the regular 71 round magazine we're not gonna run the nambu rounds we're not gonna go ahead and reduce the damage we want to go ahead and keep the same consistent damage output, but go ahead and bump up the capacity, making this weapon nasty at any and all ranges, especially close range. Now, obviously, for the ammo type, we are going to rock length, and this is a submachine gun. Faster, you know, bullet velocity is definitely going to give us a quicker time to kill, so this is going to be a mandatory attachment. Now, for the optic, I like the slate reflector. I do not like the iron sights on this gun. They're very hard to use. They're very obstructive, especially at those medium longer ranges. Make sure you guys have this on for just ease of use. Now for the rear grip, fabric grip, self-explanatory. We rock this on all of our ARs and SMGs here in Vanguard. You guys can see here for the stock, we have the Empress Custom on here. So we can go ahead and have additional recoil control, accuracy, flinch resistance, and recoil recovery. This is not going to go ahead and hinder the close range performance. All it's going to do is strengthen that medium the long range, which this gun does need some backing behind. And then finally, we have the efficiency in the kit. We have on fleet to go ahead and bump up that movement speed because we do have some attachments that are technically going to slow this weapon down. We're going to go ahead and bump up that handling. And then finally, for the kit, we are going to rock fully loaded so we can rock this weapon very easily from kill one all the way to kill 25 or more to get that V2 rocket. Definitely have to go ahead and give this class setup a try. And the build is going to be the combat knife. Ghost, Ford, Intel, Scavenger, Sticky Bomb, and the Stim Shot. If y'all do check this class setup out and go crazy, let me know down in the comment section. Yeah, go ahead and get some V2 Rocket gameplay. All right, so we can do it with the PPSH, y'all. Got a kill confirmed here. Okay, he's up on top. Look at these fantastic spawns. Back it up. Dogs. Looks like we're gonna have to cross again. Local. Put the body armor on. Let's do a long flank. Oh my god. Oh. 
Come on, teammates. We got it. Dude, what? What kind of spawns are this? I'm telling y'all, man, the spawns, like, ever since they went ahead and dropped this new update, the spawns on this game have been just completely piss poor horrible to the point where, like, you're literally spawning inside of people. It doesn't even make any sense. Go ahead and drop this UAV. I'm almost positive I walked next to an enemy. I'm almost positive I did. I am literally almost positive I walked next to an enemy right there. Go ahead and get a flank going. They're all up top. Oh my God, they're all up top. Not really too sure what this goes to because I don't normally play kill confirmed. Dude. I want to. I should have called the nuke in. I didn't know what it went to. I didn't know what it went to. I thought it was like, all right, it might go to 100. I didn't know what it went to. Get behind him. Body armor. Oh my god. We are literally inside of their spawn right now. Yep, this guy over there. Get up here. Dogs. Local. Hopefully the teammates don't go ahead and like try to triple cap this or any other nonsense. We're gonna have to hold up. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go for the push. God damn bro, I wanna push this so bad, but no we can't. That guy's BTRS right there. Ah, I want to push this so bad. I'm gonna have to try to cross, cross over here and catch him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a shitload going that, dude. Honestly, if I had the capability to flank that. This vein guy's not running a VSAT. That's like the only shitty thing. I really, I need to flank that spawn, man. Because what's gonna happen is we're gonna literally end the game. That guy's like on that head glitch. I need to cross. Okay, he called in a ball turn gunner. That's actually good. That's actually so clutch. Body armor. We're literally a couple off a of nuke too. But I think the teammates are gonna end it just because we're literally just slaughtering these guys to the point where they have no time. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Maybe. You got it. There we go, baby.
Dude, me and this vein kid just tore the lobby up. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if he has a nuke, but I'm going to hold this because... Finally got taken out. I don't know if this guy has a nuke, though. He might. He's 128 kills on my team. Jesus Christ. Let's drop this nuke right now. I mean, it's 195 points. Oh, baby. DG's vein. Appreciate that gunship support. Damn, bro. We, we really just... Dude, we really just tore this lobby up. Straight up, just tore this lobby up. That guy got like 130 kills. I got a V2. 138 kills. God damn.